Well, Danita, the question that the judge had to answer is, was there a relative in the area that could care for the six-year-old girl caught in the middle of this tragedy, or should she remain in the care of Stark County Children's Services? Well, for now, the answer is she will remain with the agency. The parents charged in this very disturbing, high-profile case were moved from the Stark County Jail to family court so they could take part in today's hearing. Ming Ming Chen, who is not a U.S. citizen, is charged with murder. She had an interpreter for the hearing. Her husband, Ling Zhao, who is a U.S. citizen, is charged with complicity to commit murder. Their daughter, Ashley, was found dead on Tuesday, her body hidden inside the couple's Chinese restaurant. Today, the suspects waived their right to a hearing with testimony, and the judge quickly ruled that their six-year-old girl should remain with Stark County Children's Services. She will be placed with a family in the system, and she's getting counseling. The agency says there are possible relatives that the girl could be placed with down the line, but at this point, no family members have been found and questioned who would be qualified. The case remains stunning to many people because the parents originally told police the girl may have wandered away, but police say her mother punched Ashley so hard she died, and then the dad helped hide the body. I mean, it's a terrible tragedy. Um, we deal with tragic situations all day, every day, that either involve a death or don't. Um, I, my heart breaks for this little girl and what she must have gone through. My heart breaks for the family, and um, we just do what we need to do to try to protect the children, uh, to move forward, to provide the support that we can for the family and uh, this sibling who is still with us. And, you know, that's what we do. That's what our job is. So we do our job. A court hearing is scheduled for next week in Maslin Municipal Court on the criminal charges, but that could be postponed if this case moves over to county court. Live in Canton tonight, Bob Jones, News 5.